Welcome back to the DeBerg Direct Channel. This is Jim, your humble host. Today we're going to be stress testing West System on an S curve joint. On our past video, we had a lot of comments and questions from some of our subscribers about whether I should have added this spline into the joint or not and how much strength it would add. So today we're going to actually test it. We've created the same S curve joint on a straight piece and we're going to find out what it takes to break it. When we do the test, we're going to have a spacer block underneath, and then this being the table, and we're going to add weights to the top of this. So we'll continue to add weights until it gets up to the amount of weight that we need to crack it. We'll add both sides equally. So whatever I put on one side for weights, we'll put on the other side. Here's what I think is going to happen. Whether the dominoes in there or not, when the top of the joint starts to break, it'll break at the same time on this one. I had a lot of people say, well, you should have splines in there, it'll make it stronger. I don't actually believe that that's gonna happen. I think once the glue in the seam breaks, it won't matter whether there's a spline or anything in there. I think what will actually happen is the spline might hold the piece together to where you don't lose it in the water or something of that nature. But when we start adding the weights onto this, I think if this joint right here cracks, it doesn't matter what we have down inside it. This is the idea, we'll clamp it down to the table, with some big clamps, hold it in place while we're adding the weights to it and we'll see which one breaks first. This is actually the thickness of our other molding. We're going to be adding weight to the outside here, so it's actually going to be over stressing of this joint. Otherwise, we'd have to add weight just to this section, but let's give it a shot and see what it takes anyway. Just rough on the lead right now, when I put these two weights on, it'll be 262 pounds. So let's start putting the small ones on so we can get a more accurate count. 300 pounds. 330 pounds. All right, folks, notice where my hand is. There's nothing underneath there supporting this. There's no fancy little tiny piece of acrylic or something like that where you go. Oh, he's faking it. 335. 375. 425 pounds. All right, we need to get some tape and wrap up around these so they don't fall over. So we're at 425. Let's keep stacking it on. 495 pounds. Readjusted everything. You can see we added more, more of the large weights because we're running out of small five pounders. So right now, folks, on both sides, we're at about 500 pounds right now. It's starting to get a little dangerous here, but we'll keep on going. We'll just be careful. Don't do this at home. 660, and I need bigger weights. Right now, we're at 714 on both joints. So we're at 875 pounds. Take the little weights off, put more big weights on. Okay, so we've taken off 130 pounds of the small weight. We've added even bigger weights back on here. I have two more weights to set up here before we start putting the small ones on. It's gonna bring the weight to 905 pounds on each side of the joint. You can probably see the whole thing is bending, going straight to 905 pounds when I put these other two weights on. So that might be the camel that breaks, the needle that breaks the camel's back, we'll see. thousand forty five pounds <laughs> you got it over a thousand Look at that cool catastrophe. So nobody got hurt. As you saw, I was getting ready to put another weight on the spline side. I think this is gonna to prove to everybody, including myself, a few things. So let's get some of this weight over here. I just dropped a five pound weight on my foot, that hurt. 1,045 pounds. The spline side and the non-spline side, both apparently gave out at exactly the same time. The spline doesn't do any good to prevent a joint from breaking. It actually did more to just tear the whole part apart. This was the side that I put the domino in. You see it went in plenty deep enough, glue in there. When it actually pulled out, 
it pulled the fibers off the domino. So it was definitely in there strong enough and glued properly. And what it actually did was the domino and the force actually broke everything down. Now this was the same way I built the table. The fiberglass is in there, everything's in there the same. What we're doing is doing the test on the fiberglass the same way the table was built. Now if you'll notice in reality when you're watching the video, this side actually broke before I could get the equal amount of weight that the side that did not have the spline in it. So this side broke second and all the weight came crashing down on it. 1,045 pounds before the joint sheared. Pretty incredible stuff. Well we hope you like this video. You'll stay tuned for some more. I got more neat stuff coming up next week and we'll try to make it not so dangerous. So don't forget to subscribe. Please send me your comments. Make something cool. We'll talk at you all later.